So we are back in Comsol Multiphysics. Now let me just add a component to the new file. So I'll just right click, click on add component and then add a 2D component. Now as we recall from our calculation, I will go to the parameter, just create a variable A and write 1 mm. Similarly, I'll go to B and here I will write A divided by SQRT for square root and I'll just write SQRT3. Now go back to geometry, click on rectangle, in the width type A and in the height type B. Click on build selected, you will see a rectangle will be created. Now the next step is to create the arrays in a circular fashion. Before that, select the position to center. Now go on to boolean and partition and click on union. But before that, you have to go to transform and then click on rotate. Now click on zoom extends and then click on the object. In the rotation angle, you give 60 and 120 and then click on keep input object. Then click on build all object. You will see your hexagon is ready, but it is not complete yet. So now go on to boolean and partition, click on union. Now click on all the domains. Uncheck keep interior boundaries. Click on build all object. Now your hexagon shape is ready. So now let me show you a different way to create a hexagon. For that I'll just delete this component. Maybe I'll just clear this and I'll just add a component from start. Now here in the parameter, I will go on to load from file and select parameter, click open. Now in the geometry, here I will go on to add a polygon. In the polygon, choose the data source to table, click on load from file, click on hexagon and click on open. Now if you click on build selected, you will again have a hexagon structure. Now you can change the value of A and D here and the geometry will be updated. Note that both the process are uh, quite similar so you can use any of the process to create hexagon structure. Thank you for watching and have a great day.